out there where we stay at. I I had turned to Bay News 9 to see if we had a storm going on because y'all wasn't going to see me. <laughs> I wasn't coming by God, but, but it was just some real heavy rain in our areas for some reason. But we thank God for the rain. Amen. Hallelujah. We're standing all over the building. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will, I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we just want to give you thanks on today, Lord God. We thank you for your traveling mercy, Lord God. God, we thank you for your strength now, Lord God. We thank you for having healthy bodies right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, you are so good, Lord God. God, you are wonderful, Lord God. God, you are awesome in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, we just want to give you praise on tonight, Lord God. God, we just want to give you worship on tonight, Lord God. God, could you brought us out, Lord God. God, you brought us out a mighty way in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, we ask you to have your way tonight in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, we ask you to come in this room like never before, Lord God. God, we ask you to trust the youth right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, we ask you to let your glory fill this place in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, we ask you to let your anointing fall like never before in the name of Jesus, Lord God. God, we ask you to touch the front door to the bike in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh God, we ask you to have your way in this place tonight, Lord God. God, we surrender all to you tonight, Lord God. Move like never before, Lord God. Touch every seat right now, Lord God. Touch every person right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Speak to their spirits tonight, Lord God. Speak to their mind, Lord God. Let them know, Lord God. Trouble don't always last in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And you got everything in your hand in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you on the night, Lord God. Have your way right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Do it right now. Do it right now, Lord. Walk up and down the aisles right now, Lord God. Do it right now, Lord. And we give you glory now, God. We give you honor now, Lord. In your son Jesus' name, amen. amen. Glory to God. Come on, give God a hand praise. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for prayer on tonight. Amen. I'll be coming from Ephesians 6, verses 12 through 13. Verse 12, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Verse 13, therefore take up the whole armor of God that you might be able to withstand in the evil day and have done all to stand. Amen, amen. And the word is blessed. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Do anyone have a testimony at this time? Amen. Testimony of God's goodness and all that he's done for you. Amen. Has God done anything for anybody? Hallelujah. Come on, Sister Thomas. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. She thanked God for keeping her. Amen. How many of you know when we lay down and go to sleep, we close to death. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Some of us stop breathing in our sleep and don't even know it because ain't nobody told you yet. Amen. Praise God. But we just thank God for waking us up and starting us on our way once again. Is there another testimony? Amen. Praise God. On your microphone. Praise God. Shh. 
tough. Praise God. And my grades are three C's, Praise God. Praise God. Her D came up to a B. Amen. Come on and give her a hand. Amen. Praise God. Sister Brown. Praise the Lord. Yes, yes. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. My God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Go ahead on, girl. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Come on and get. Amen. Come on, give God a hand praise for an awesome testimony. Amen. That's an awesome testimony. Praise God. I want to say to you parents out there to, tonight, I was talking to the kids on this morning, and I was letting our children know how important it is for them to get up and read every day while they're out of school for the summer. Amen. The teacher, my Isaiah teacher talked to me, and she said that's where a lot of the kids lose it at during the summer because none of them pick up a book. Let them read the newspaper, a magazine. I told them that they got to read the same book every day where they can get up and tell me verbatim without looking at the book. I don't even care. Our children need to read. Amen. It's very important. It's vital. Amen. Praise God. I told them, read you a passage of scripture. After you read you a passage of scripture, pray and read you a book. Amen. It's very important, parents. Don't take for granted your children are out for the summer. Make them read. Amen. If they don't do nothing but read the picture and tell you what the picture is, have your children to read. It's very important. Amen. Praise to God. At this time, our praise team is coming. Come on and put your hands together for our youth praise team. Amen. How great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, oh sing how great, how great is our God, how great is our God, sing You're the name. 
Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands with me. 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 Come on and say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and say
of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I love you more than anything or anybody. Does anybody have that testimony on tonight? God, I love you more than anything. Hallelujah. Our relationship with Christ is the most important thing in this world. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to love him more than anything or anybody. Amen. Because when the things in the body be gone, all you got left is Jesus. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Come on and give God a hand. Praise. We thank the you praise team and the and the praise team helping our young praisers out. Amen. Praise God. We thank you on tonight. Amen. We are so excited that you're here. We're glad that you're here. Amen. Won't you ask your neighbor, say, what you came for tonight? <laughs> say, did you come seeking something tonight? Come on and ask them like you really mean to say, did you come seeking anything tonight? Tell them, I don't know about you, but I came seeking something from God on tonight. Come on and put your hands together if you came seeking something from the Lord. Amen. Praise God. When I woke up this morning, and I was singing this song, help, help me, Lord, help. Help me, Lord, I need your help. I was sad, I said, oh, what you say now? Woo! I felt that thing. I was about to get up and go running because I needed some help. 
Oh, God. Sometimes you ought to wake up with a song in your heart. Amen. Because it'll encourage you to know that you can make it throughout that day. Amen. Praise God. At this time, we're going to prepare to take our offering. Amen. Before our pastor come forward to, to bring forth the word on tonight. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to say I'm so proud of my pastor because... When that little man was at our car cussing him out yesterday. <laughs> oh, my God. Pastor just sat there at first. At first, I thought um, I thought the guy was just kidding because he said, I arrest you now in the name of Jesus. I put you under arrest in Jesus' name and Jesus. Da, 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 da. I'm thinking, okay. And I'm like, okay, he arresting us to stay at the service because we was talking about leaving. And my crazy stuff, I didn't know what was going on. I said, well, we was going to go back home because we didn't know, you know, about the service. And that when that thing started talking about, we was under arrest. And then so... Um, so, you know, he kept talking, talking, and not knowing that this man was not all there. That man cussed Pastor out. Ooh, he just, he just point blank told us we was going to H-E-L-L. Yes, and then Deacon Mo. See, how many of y'all know sometimes God will put a restraint on you to keep you from getting in trouble? Because Deacon Mo was trying to get out that bike seat of that car. He was trying to get out that car. But we had the child lock on. He couldn't get out the car. Because how many of you know he could have got out that car and got in trouble? That wasn't nobody but God. Amen. Because we have to put the child locks. Because Miss Kenzie like to open the door when you're driving. So we have to put the child locks on the door. Amen. But God restrained him long enough for him to calm down. That when he did get out the car, he was able to handle the situation. And the situation that heated up some more, he had to walk away. Amen. But sometimes, you know, the devil, he don't care. He'll challenge you in any way that he can and say what he want to say to you. Because how many of you know the devil get in anybody? Because I read in the Bible where there was a lunatic in the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so they are everywhere right now on the earth today. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, we're standing all over the building. Amen. Asking you to come from where you are and bring your offering. Amen. Jesus. I love that little song. Amen. 
I'm gonna clap my hands louder than before. I'm gonna shout a little louder than before. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for this offering that we see, received on tonight. We pray that you are blessed and return it a hundredfold in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on and give yourself a hand for your giving. Amen. Hallelujah. I love that little song, but I, I can't sing it like they sang it, but I'm going to learn it. Amen. And I'm going to sing it like they sang it, Mother. Amen. Because I'm going to clap my hands a little loud. I'm going to spin. And I'm going to, I'm going to, they say, don't they say somebody spinning and dancing and shouting and amen. I'm just going to, I'm going to get it down. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. But at this time, we're standing all over the building in reverence to the shepherd of our house. Amen. Shepherd of this house. Amen. None other than Pastor Theodore Teddy Hall Jr. Come on, give him a hand. Praise as he comes. Hallelujah. Come on, let's bow our heads as we go before the throne of grace father we pray now that you would look on us as we your people have come together once again to hear a word from you father we humble ourselves under your mighty hand for we know not what to do you even said lord we man don't even know how to pray so father we pray that your will would be done tonight in the lives of those that have come out to hear another word god from you challenge us in our thinking and elevate our minds god don't let us leave here the way we came in jesus name amen amen Praise the Lord. God bless all of you on tonight. Amen. And we have about a good 30 minutes or so. Amen. To share with you from the word of God. God bless all of you on tonight. Praise the Lord. Thank God for my wife tonight. Thank God for my sister-in-law who's here tonight. Amen. And her daughter. Amen. We say God bless to all of you who have pressed your way out tonight to be here to hear a word from the Lord. Amen. God bless these fine musicians. Amen. Amen. Appreciate them. Hallelujah. Hmm? And one visitor, amen. God bless the visitor. Praise the Lord. Well, praise the Lord. How many of you come to hear something from the Lord tonight? How many need a word, something that will bless your hearts tonight? Amen. I want you to turn with me into the book of John. Amen. Uh, John, the 15th chapter, is where we will pull in. Amen. In the words of Elder Bryant, say, we say good evening to our internet audience. Praise the Lord. We are streaming all of our services live, so therefore, if you can't happen to make a church service, amen, you can tune in online, amen, and see our, our services over the internet, amen. So praise the Lord. We are thankful for that. St. John of the 15th chapter, amen, is where we will take our message, our thought from uh, tonight, amen. St. John 15, amen. And everybody, when you get there, signify that by saying amen. Amen. One more amen for those of us who see that. Say amen. Amen. Ain't enough amens yet. Amen. We got quite a few folk in here with Bibles. We're going to try that again. Praise the Lord. Everyone who sees St. John 15, let me hear it by saying amen. Amen. Now we sound better. Amen. Hallelujah. Y'all making me wonder what's going on in here. Praise the Lord. All right, St. John 15, honey, I see you got your mic. I ain't going to get in trouble no more, amen, hallelujah. If you got your mic, that's my reader tonight. I'm going to go home and be at peace, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She kind of fussed at me, sister-in-law, the other week. You know, she had the mic, and I was my read book was out. And uh, I said, anybody got a good King James version of the Bible? And she was sitting over there with the mic. And I said, okay, sister so-and-so, I see you got one. Give her a mic. <laughs> I guess you didn't see me over there with my King James version in my, because that's why I left right after service, because I was hot with you. You didn't let me be read book. Ain't she cute, amen? She want to be my read book. So if I, if, if I have to find a read book that I got now, and I don't think I should, but I'm going to hire her, amen. I'm going to let her be my read book. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, in St. John 15, I want to talk to you from the thought, you have no need to worry. Amen. Why don't you just touch yourself and say, self, self, you have no need to worry. You have no need to worry. Now, you ought to be clapping right there, amen. I have no need to worry about anything, amen. <laughs> you may be going through some challenges right now, but if you ride with me for the next 30 minutes, I guarantee you, you should feel better by the time you leave here, amen. Amen. In St. John 15, amen, hallelujah. 
uh, uh, we're going to start reading. Matter of fact, I really want you to go to 14. So flip over and just give me uh, um, in 14. I want you to give me one verse of that and then we'll go over here uh, to 15. Amen. St. John 14 and verse 1. Just flip over or you might be looking at it right now. St. John 14, 1. What did it say, Rita? Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Tell your neighbor, say, let not. Your heart, be your heart be troubled. Now, what, what's troubling you? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, what's troubling you? Neighbor, what's troubling you? Yeah, what's troubling you? What, what is it that's hard pressed on you right now tonight? What is it that you, you seem to be uh, 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 in your way from just really enjoying what you have? I think everybody in here, I feel the very presence of God. I think everybody in here that's hearing me speak tonight, you are blessed, but you're allowing things to stress you, amen, and make you feel kind of bad and kind of, you know, in a melancholy state sometimes, and now you're wondering why, because you're letting your heart be troubled. We should not allow anything going on outside of us as believers to trouble us. Why? Because Christ said, let not. Now, do you understand what let not mean? Let not literally means it's a choice that you have to make. Amen. You you literally can let yourself be troubled. All right now. All right now. Yeah. Yeah, why are you letting that? Well, you know they did me this way. You know they're going to lay me off. You know, well, if you're going to get laid off, if, if people are going to mistreat you, you ain't the first person to get laid off, and you're definitely not the first person to be mistreated. I wish I had a witness in here tonight. You won't be the first one. Amen. God's going to take care of you. Amen. Somebody say, let not your heart be troubled. So many of us in here, we're worrying about things that really, you know, won't even happen in our lifetime. Stop worrying so much. Some people get to worry so much that it make you be a mean person. Y'all ain't saying that you worry so, now you're mean because you're all upset about nothing. Every believer don't just come here to just look at me like a, 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 a deer in the headlights, amen. But come here, amen, to receive a, a, a message that when you leave here, see, because really the litmus test is not why you're in here, how happy you are and everything going well. It's when you dock those doors, amen, get in your vehicle, on your way home, in the morning when you wake up. What, what Some people wake up grumpy. You ever get to work, work Sister Lauren, and you, you, you ever been just a good spirit? Good morning. Good morning. Some good morning. Good morning. Now that's how to mess with your good morning. Well, did I put on my deodorant? Did I? Did I as I'm looking, is my hair right? You know, because this person right here, they're not receiving the good morning the way that I put it out there. But don't let folk, because they're in some kind of screwed up mood, amen, you in a happy mood, come to church happy. Get right here and meet some of these cantankerous saints. That, oh, y'all. Come to, last place I expect to be discouraged and disappointed is at church. Do you hear what I'm saying? That's the last place I'm coming to expect that. But even when I come here and receive that, I already know. Let not. I'm, uh, am I helping anybody? Can I say what I say unto one? Okay, I came just for that right there. Listen here. I'm in a situation. I'm experiencing things. People are just being people. But I got to get the word of God in me. Just told my daughter in the office just now. I'm so proud of you. You're growing up. Amen. Your skin getting tough. Praise the Lord. Because at one point, you couldn't hardly blow on them. Except they'd be in tears, getting upset, storming away. But you're growing now. I say, I'm proud of you. I just told my daughter that tonight. I ain't, I ain't talking about nobody, Sister Brown. I ain't talking about nobody. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. Amen. I ain't talking about, who is Sister Brown? I ain't talking about, yeah, that one right there. In the turquoise. Oh, both of them do? Well, well not the one in the back. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let not your heart be troubled. Don't worry about what people are doing because in this life, oh, hallelujah, the Bible says in this life you shall have trouble. That means that universal, in the church, out the church, you're going to have trouble. He said, but I'm giving you a command. Now, you can choose not to let it be troubled or you can choose to let it trouble you. Now, ask your neighbor, say, which one do you choose? Yeah, which one do you choose? You don't know what they've done to me. No, you don't know what they've done to me either. You know, pe people can be so mean. Even in church. 
But that's okay. What we got to understand is everybody in church ain't where they're supposed to be in God. So all of us are trying to grow up in God. So we learn how to overlook some things and let not my heart be what? Troubled. Let not my heart be troubled. Amen. Now, 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 I'm not going to let you trouble me. And when you start getting a trouble-free heart, people may think something's wrong with you. Because people love to see you broke down and love to see you worrying. Amen. But when they see that child, I ain't even the child boo. I ain't finna let you bother me. Not today. Hallelujah. I'm, 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 yes, Lord. Child boo. I ain't finna let you trouble me. Because why? The word of God said, let not my heart be troubled. Troubled over what? Let me tell you something. Anybody ain't got what they need. Amen. Just trust God. Tomorrow will be better. The next day will get better. Amen. Love life ain't really where it won't. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. My love life may not be where I want. Well, my love life ain't where I want it to be either. Amen. If I'm depending on my wife or I'm depending on people to make my love life be whatever I want. Y'all ain't liking what I'm saying. No. We're looking to people to give us. Oh, God. We're looking to people for what only God can give you. Somebody say, let not my heart be troubled. No, you can be you can be dealing with a lot of things, amen. But don't you be worried about it. Let God deal with it. Over to St. John 15. Let's ride over there real quick. Start reading at verse 1. And 1. I am the true vine, mm -hmm. and my father is the husbandman. Mm -hmm. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, mm -hmm. he taketh away. Mm -hmm. And every branch that beareth fruit, mm -hmm. he purgeth it, mm -hmm. that it may bring forth more fruit. Tell your neighbor, say you're in the state of increase right now. How right I know that? Because you're being cut. Come on, Pastor. Folk doing stuff to you. Yeah, yeah, you're being cut right now. You're, 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 you're experiencing stuff right now, and you can't, you don't really know why you're having to go through what you're dealing with. It's only because you're in the, in the, in the place right now of increase, and any time you're going to go through increase, there must be some cutting away of some things that's inside. Oh, y'all don't like what I'm saying. But there must be a cutting back of some things that's going on on the inside of you. So God working on you, Amen. even in your pain, because you cannot grow without being cut back. Everybody need to know that. You're going to be challenged. You're going to be cut. But if you can be cut and stay connected, amen, you're going to produce fruit. Because it makes no sense to be with Christ and don't produce fruit. He's cutting away some dead things amen. inside of you. How to deal with cantankerous uh, people of God. Hallelujah. How to just look at him and say, praise the Lord. God is good. He's worthy all the time. I'm blessed when I get up. I'm blessed when I lay down. I'm blessed in the morning. I'm blessed afternoon. I'm blessed at night. I'm just blessed. And I know you're trying to mess with my peace. And if you've been coming to Bible study, you'll grab that. I know you're trying to mess with my peace. But I'm not going to let you mess with my peace. Amen. But I'm not going to let nothing outside of me rob me of my peace. Rob me and make my heart be heavy. I'm in my own house. I feel like a prisoner in my own crib. The devil is alive. I'm not finna be feeling like this here. I ain't gonna let my heart be troubled. Why don't you tell somebody? Because this too shall pass. Now y'all ain't y'all ain't acting right. Y'all act like you're in the place of forever. Act like you're in a state of never changing. But anytime God is gonna be doing something new or trying to take you to another level, you're gonna be tested in the way of letting your heart be troubled. I'm not finna sweat with you. Amen. Amen. Come on, trying to tell you something earlier today. Stop wrestling with your emotions. You know how emotions are. Up and down. Come on now. I told y'all earlier this morning about being schizophrenic. Oh, yes. Amen. One minute you're my friend. Next minute I don't know what you is. Oh, God. Hallelujah. I got to be trying to figure out. Is you, is you friend or foe today? Which one are you? Oh, but whatever you are. I'm not finna let my heart be troubled. Because if this week you my enemy, guess what? I'm still going to let, not let my heart be troubled. Amen. Because next week you're allowed to be back on to be a friend. And I ain't going to treat you and feed you. I, I know how I'm going to do them. Uh-huh. What you going to do? I'm going to feed them with a long handle spoon. That's what I'm going to do. Well, show me where the spoon at in the Bible. Show me where that spoon at. Anytime you mess up and come back to Christ, he, 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 he allows you to come back with open arms. He brings you back into his bosom. And a lot of believers are in so much trouble today because your heart's being troubled, you're getting hurt, and that's a part of life. Everybody get hurt. Everybody going to go through some tragedy. Everybody going to probably have to experience some. At some point, you're going to the doctor, and they're going to tell you this is wrong and that is wrong, and you need to do something. Amen. But don't you let your heart be troubled, but neither not not do what the doctor's telling you. Amen. 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 It got quiet there. Amen. 
Did you acquire that guy? Right. Doctor tell you, you need to do this. I ain't doing nothing. Oh, God. I, I'm just going to trust God. God ain't told me I need to take that there. Nope, that's why God gave you doctors though. Right. Don't, don't disrespect the position, the physician. God put people in the earth to help you. Come on, Come on now. No, you, you take the stuff until you know you don't heard from God. All right. Take it till you get healed. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Read book. Verse 3. Now ye are clean with, through the wor word which I sp have spoken unto you. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. Abide in me mm -hmm. and I in you. Mm -hmm. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself mm -hmm. except it abide in the vine. Mm -hmm. Read. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I don't care what you're trying to do in your own strength. It's nothing. It's nothing. You know what a lot of people are trying to do? Just because we're accumulating things, we think that we're okay and we're moving forward in our lives. But the Bible says, if you're getting it on your own, if you got good credit, y'all better hear what I'm about to tell you. If you got good credit and a decent job and you're making enough money, you can buy anything you want to buy. You buy your airplane, helicopter, you can buy, you know, buy anything you want to buy. Amen. You, you can have the biggest house you want, but just because you got the big house, fine cars, and all those things, all those accoutrements that make life seem to be real well, that don't mean that you're in the will of God for him, you know, that don't mean that you heaven bound, amen, that just mean that you got good credit and a good job and a lot of money Come on, Pastor. Amen. Amen. amen Thank you, Lord. don't get quiet on me read book verse 5 I am the vine mm -hmm. ye are the branches mm -hmm. he that abideth in me mm -hmm. and I in him, mm -hmm. the same bringeth forth much fruit, mm -hmm. for without me ye can do nothing Wait a minute. As soon as we realize that without him, we can't do nothing. Amen. You know what I mean? And everything that we have, God has given to you. Oh, yes. Everything, everything. That's why I'm, 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 I'm a firm believer of this. Once we die to ourselves and give everything back to God, amen, and tap into the vine, praise the Lord. Don't get upset with folk. Don't let folk know that you're so mad with them that you don't even want to speak to them. Don't want to sit on the same aisle with them. Come on, I see them pull up. And if they pulling in, coming to church this way, I'm going to back back out on this and come in the other road over here. If they park over here, I'm parking on the back side of the church. My Lord. No, how you going to do that there? Let not your heart be troubled with people and things that go on in your life. He said, you can't do nothing. Without. Let me tell you something. Everything that we do, when you're going to college, if you're going to school, amen, are you afraid to go to school? Amen. Don't be afraid to go to school and challenge yourself to do better. Amen. Because you don't know, but if Christ is telling you to better yourself, he's already made the provision. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Don't worry about what the outcome going to be. We look too far down the road anyway. What are you worrying about tomorrow for and what's going to be next week and all that there? Do y'all know we don't know if we're going to see uh, uh, July? You, no, no, I don't went too far. Amen. It's Sunday. You don't even know if you're going to make it out of here. And I don't want to bring up sore spots for us, but God bless Sister Ann. Amen. Sister Ann was in church, praise God, right in this building. You don't know if you're going to leave this building. So why are you worrying? What are you, what are you letting yourself be? Enjoy the, tell your neighbor, say, enjoy the moment. I, I was telling some people this the other day at my home. Amen. I enjoy folk. Amen. I enjoy people. I love to laugh, and I'm going to laugh. And I'm going to laugh loud, too. Mm -hmm. Loud, loud. Like, like for real, for real. It's going to be for loud, for loud. Amen. You're going to know I'm happy by how I'm sounding. You hear what I'm saying? I am not finna let nobody cause me not to have a good time. Because when I was full of my liquor and full of my dope, amen, I was the life of the party, amen. And just like now I'm full of Jesus, I'm still going to be the life of the party. I'm going to be talking loud and laughing. I ain't going to let now devil that done been partying all weekend, getting drunk and, and laying up fornicating and lesbianating and homosexuating and patty caking. I ain't finna let none of them think that come Monday that you done had a better time than me this weekend. Because I done been in the presence of the Take me to the king. I don't have much to bring. My heart, where my singers at? Don't get mad because y'all wasn't on the praise team. <laughs> y'all would have been here this morning. Don't get upset because y'all wasn't up here going to the king. Yes. You heard them going up in high. 
but I ain't finna get mad with nobody because I'm gonna have me a good time. I'm happy to be saved. He told me not to let my heart be troubled. He told me I can't have nothing without him. Everything I got, even when I was a sinner, God allowed me to have a good life. Some of us know even without the Lord, you still doing okay. Amen. 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 Thank you. That's why I'm going to serve him. Oh, yeah. Read some more, sweetie. Verse 6. If a man abide not in me, mm -hmm. he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. I don't know about you, but what that verse, that verse 6? Yeah. Verse 6 in the study Bible reads a little different, but we end up well. In the same place, give you a little better understanding. Amen. Verse 6 says, listen, if you do not remain in me, they are like a branch that is thrown away and die. People pick, them, pick up the dead branches and throw them into the fire and burn them. That don't sound good. I'm telling you now where I'm going to stay. And I ain't finna be troubled by hard times. Let me tell you something. Hard times only come to make you strong. Okay. Difficult times only come to test to see can God bless you. Okay. Difficult times come to see will you run at every event where you got to be hurt. Amen. All right. Let me tell you something. It's all right to cry. Yes, it is. It's all right to cry. Sometimes crying. The Bible says crying is a cleansing of the soul sometimes you just have to cry anybody that's had a good old cry amen and once you cry though amen once i cried and got all of that out of me praise the lord when i walked my face up i felt better all right all right now amen good cry amen i done been hurt so i done been hurt so bad in the church amen so don't you think that you the first one done been hurt i'm the pastor and i've been slammed to the concrete not once not twice i'm gonna stop counting right there amen because we could go on and on with what people done done to me. And I'm the head of the church underneath the great shepherd, God, and his son, Jesus. Come and on. if they doing me any kind of way, and I got to lay down on the floor right here. See, some of y'all at least had to cry in front of some other folk and back in the back in the booth somewhere. I'm at the district meeting laying on the floor. Amen. Y'all don't know. Y'all were there. I'm at the district meeting. Superintendent Jenkins was standing right here, and I'm holding on to his shoes and tears and tears rolling out my eyes getting on his shoes. Why? Because of something somebody did to me in ministry. On, who I thought a whole lot of. Who I spent a lot of time with. On, caused me to be in tears. Oh, you understand? Yes, 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 yes. And not one time am I just angry with them. Amen. I understand that my trials come to test my faith. Oh, yes. To see where you still get up. And not only it's going to test your faith. See where you still love the person that just devastated you. I ain't fooling up with them no more. You don't know how they did me, blah, blah, blah. Don't you know that that's the act of forgiveness that God is trying to test you with to see can you forgive your trespasser so he can forgive you your trespasses? Do you understand that? Amen. You were trespassed against, wasn't you? Wasn't we hurt? Didn't they hurt you? Tell the truth. Touch themselves. They hurt you. They hurt you, didn't they? Didn't they hurt you? Yeah, they hurt me. They hurt me. But you know what? I forgave them. And at the point of forgiveness, that's when release comes. Well, okay. It was simple. I forgave them. I'm over it. Bye. And if I see you in the restaurant, my, my skin don't start to crawl. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. They ride by. <laughs> I don't do them like that. I just go right on over there to them. They hurt me. They told me up. Praise the Lord. God bless you. How you doing? Good to see you. Come on, give me a good hug here. I'm a good man. I don't I do that? I do it. Amen. And I, I do it. Let me tell y'all something. What you see standing before you is a brother that has died to himself. The, I've been cut. I've been cut. And when you get cut, amen, you expect to be bleeding. Amen. But Jesus is right there to heal you. Right. Let me tell you something. As we grow up in God, take the hurt and the pain. Because you know what? Tomorrow, when you whoop in the Krispy Kreme and get you some donuts and some coffee, Come on now. it ain't going to make no difference. Come on, Pastor. Old fresh Krispy Kreme, some, some mocha, okay. you smiling. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Come on, Pastor. Hallelujah. You don't woke up the next day and you happy. Yes. Don't let what folk do to you cause you to carry that stuff on in and mess your tomorrow up. The devil is a lie. I'm sitting up. Take me to the king. All right. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. You might be sitting at Burger King. Come on, Pastor. <laughs> but you'll be too. Huh? Hello? <laughs> Y'all ain't right. Come on, read a little more, honey. Verse 7. If ye abide in me mm -hmm. 
and my words mm -hmm. abide in you. Are y'all following along? Ye shall ask what you ye will, and it shall be done unto you. That alone is worth me not letting my heart be troubled. Right Amen. there. Amen. Right there. Amen. Me being able to ask Christ whatever I want and God do it for me. See, all I know is I'm just waiting on time and destiny to meet. Amen. I already know my future. Tell, tell your neighbor, say, my future so bright. My future so bright. I start to bring my sunglasses in here. That's how bright my stuff is. I already know. He said, I can ask anything I want and it's going to be given to me. Now, he didn't say when. I got to go through some hurt, some cutting back. You saw what he did. He cutting back some stuff, some dead people out of my life. Some folk was in your life for just a little while and God began to take them out of your life. And yes, it may hurt because you enjoyed them folk. But them folk cannot make this last leg of the journey with you. Amen. Amen. And certain people going to be with you forever. Certain folk, they just there temporarily. Whatever you let me read that. Y'all better get happy. Let me tell you. Let me read what verse that was, honey. Seven. Here goes seven. Here it is, right here. If you remain in me, that means you don't keep disconnecting from Jesus. All right. If you remain in me and follow my teachings, that means you're following what the pastor's telling you to do. You're following these scriptures line by line and precept by precept. You ain't deviating from the left to the right. You're not a James 1 and 22 person. You're not a hearer. You're not just a hearer only, but you are a doer. Amen. He said, and you obey my teachings. Listen to what he says here. He said, you can ask anything, good God Almighty, you can ask anything you want, and it will be given unto you. My God, my God. You know what? I don't think we really want it, though. I really don't, mother, motherfucker. I really don't think we want it. This can tie right into my message from last, the other night, Saturday night at the church. If we're in a position to ask for anything we want, and he say, and it shall be given unto you. I just got a question for all of us who are troubled by something. What is, what is it that's troubling you? Amen. Can I say something? Whatever you want. If you're single, you don't want just a man. Praise the Lord. If you're married and you want your marriage to get better, guess what you need to do? Hallelujah. Die to your will. Amen. Huh? And begin to ask God. Let me tell you something. All of us who want this church to grow, let me hear you clap your hands. You want the ministry to grow, let me hear you clap your hands. Okay, okay, well, well, if that's the case, he just said right here in the word, if we abide in him and just do what's right, he said we can ask whatever we will, and it shall be done, amen. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? How many folk could stand to increase uh, uh, of finances right about now? You can, you can use a financial blessing right now, amen. Everybody, that's everybody. I don't care how much you got, uh-huh, I don't care how much you got. I told y'all the little, the little thing, they asked the, rip the wealthy man, they asked the wealthy man, say, how much is enough? He said a little bit more. Ooh, come on, Pastor, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So how much is enough? A little bit more. Amen. That's all I'm saying. Praise the Lord. I'm not trying to get a little bit more so that I can just build bigger bonds and, 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 and stack paper. Amen. I want a little bit more because the more God give to me, the more I'm going to give into the kingdom. Amen. Because I want to see the kingdom advance. Amen. Amen. That's what I want to do. I want to see the king. I love seeing folk blessed by God. Read a little more, honey. Verse 8. Herein is my father glorified. That ye bear much fruit. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. As I see people now that's worrying about folk that got a whole lot and talking about them, God say, tell everybody who ain't got what they see somebody else got because you envious of them and you claim you're not but you are and you talking about them. Hush your mouth. Amen. 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 Huh? Because the word of God say if you stay with God, you pose to have a whole lot. They got too much. What they, what they need that for. What are you worrying about what they got that for and what they need it for? Amen. If God has blessed them folks, you don't need to be concerned with what's in their garage or how big their crib is or what kind of clothes they wear or if they going in buying that, 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 that new kind of hair. You know the kind they say is like real hair. What's that brand? What they call it? Remis? Remis. What is it? Remy, don't you get mad because I got to get Remy and you buying Jimmy? <laughs> I'm able to get the best to put on my head. Come on, Pastor. Huh? And you got to go over there and get something, amen, that you don't know what it's made of. Possum, a squirrel. Oh, uh, yeah. Oxtails. <laughs> you a mess, Pastor. Hallelujah. Listen, saints. He said, whatever we want, bro, bro, LJ, TJ, whatever we want, listen. What do we want from God? I want the very best. Amen, amen. Don't get mad at me because I want the best. If, 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 if the blunt.
blank check is wrote for us, saints. What are we being troubled about? Make your request and your petition known unto God who can do these things for us. And stop being schizophrenic, y'all. Amen. Amen. One minute you're all right. Let me tell y'all, I think one of the biggest problems we got, we need to monitor more closely what comes through these lips of ours. Hallelujah. You trying to win folk. Nobody ain't got to be coming to hear you. Nobody ain't got to put up with you. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Then you on your crazy behavior out there and folks see that and now you talking about follow me to church. Follow you where? Mm -hmm. Following you to no church. How you acting? Come on now. Amen. <laughs> Breathe. I'm doing better by, out here by myself. Listen to him. Verse 8, right? He say, you should produce much fruit and show that you are my followers. Listen, the reason why God blessed some with much is say so when people look at us and we say we belong to God, we should have much fruit to back up what we say, who we say we serve. Amen. You you talking about you a child of the king? Listen, now don't take. See, I, I, I wish y'all let me just preach it, and I'm not talking about anybody. But sometimes I just use, use analogies. Amen. That might find you. Well, if it find you, don't get mad. Just go ahead on and tap into what God said you should have. Cause ain't no way that if you a believer and He said we should have a whole lot of stuff that you settling for secondhand stuff. Come on, Pastor. Come on. Y'all ain't saying nothing right now. But let me tell you something. Even in a relationship, you get mistreated. Don't worry about them. Hallelujah. Love them right there where they at. When they mistreating you, they self. Because one thing about it, God is a just God. He's going to give them just what they deserve. You just keep being happy. You know you ain't done nothing wrong and you're in a bad relationship. Come Folk on, don't want to appreciate you for your Come good on. qualities. Just like this here. You just keep doing what's right. Amen. Yes, Let God yes, deal with them. Yes, That's why they back hurting all the time. And they want, I can't hardly see now. My eyesight going bad. You know why your eyesight going bad? Look at what you done done to me. And look at how you done mistreated me. Don't you know that's when stuff start to happen wrong for folk? Hallelujah. You start seeing, hey, you, you start seeing people that can hurt you, you, you see them start coming down. Amen. 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 And, the and, then, and then you don't rejoice when you see them coming down. That's right. You hope right. that after Satan them buffeted them, that they'll come to their right mind and come back where they left. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't leave where you're being blessed at. Soon as you start to be blessed, now all of a sudden your, your money too good to come here and bless this work. You go take your money and park your whip somewhere else and thank God it's going to be pleased with that. And you just going to sail on. Not, not so. You might be sailing for a little while, but baby, let me tell you something. It's a wave out there. Uh-huh, that's going to knock you slap off your boat and put yeah. that boat on you. Come on. <laughs> come on, Pastor. Let me tell you something. We ain't going to worry about nothing. But what we're going to do is pull together as a unit, amen, show the world that we can operate in kingdom principles. Marriages will get better. And if marriages are broken up, God can restore. God is a restorer, amen. He can fix some things. But can I tell somebody something, amen? Hallelujah. Don't get upset with me. I've been married before too. God didn't fix that marriage. Glad he didn't. I wouldn't have had her. I'm glad he didn't fix it. Nobody ain't got it like what I just said. I'm glad he didn't fix that matter. Why? If he'd have fixed that one, I wouldn't have had this one. Amen. 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 Some things you don't need him to fix. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. You sitting around worrying about it. Lord, send that back. Lord, fix that. Do you really might want to know what God doing? He might be doing a, a John 15. Could be just cutting back. But I thought you say God say he hate divorce. He do. But he don't hate the people that go through it. Can I tell y'all something? Anything that's going to cause you more pain and you can't get everything that you need from God, amen, you ain't got to remove nothing out your life. You just keep being a godly man or a godly woman. Keep obeying them scriptures. And if whoever it is that's troubling you or done destroyed you or messing with you, amen, you ain't got to worry about a thing because God himself will begin to remove the candle out of that right there. Y'all ain't got to laugh and ain't got to clap and you don't got to believe it. But before God will see me go to hell and die, he'll begin to remove some stuff out of my life. Amen. And don't you do it, though. I ain't told you to go divorce nobody. Please buy the message. Come on, some of y'all are leaving to my, I heard Pastor Hall say, I can divorce you. <laughs> don't do that. 
<laughs> no, that is not what I said. That's not what you said. Amen. But what I am saying is you still keep being a holy man. You Don't you go out there and lay up with your girlfriend and all that then and help the divorce process. Come on, Pastor. My God. You just do what you got to do as a godly man and let God deal with whatever it is that's bothering us and troubling us. Because he done told us. Let, see, but let me tell you something. If he told me let not my heart be troubled and I do what he told me to do, he going to deal with whatever's troubling my heart. Come on, Pastor. Do you hear what I just said? He gonna deal. If he don't want my heart trouble and you troubling my heart, he'll deal with what's troubling me. All I got to do is just, y'all, yeah, it's worth a clap right there. All I got to do is keep my mind right there on the Lord and keep doing what he want me to do. And I'm winding up going to come out on top. I don't know how you coming out. Come on, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Next verse, come on. Verse 9. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. Well, if you would just continue in love. If you just continue in love, let me tell you something. I found out something. Love is so powerful. Oh, yes, it is. Love is so powerful. I mean, yes, yes. If, if you were living in my home, which, which I don't really want you to live there, because I'm kind of, I like kind of being by myself with just what's in my house. I got to tell you the truth. I ain't got no problem being alone. I really don't. But if you could live in my home, you see what love really is. I promise you, you would. If you was walking with me and my wife, you find out what love is and what it really is not. Praise God. And, 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 when you, and, and really, you got to come to the phase where we're at right now to find out what real love is all about anyway. Amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because a lot of folks, they got love very twisted. You know? Oh, yes, we do, mother. We got love very twisted. When you're young, y'all have, young people got a very twisted view of love. Amen. And I'm not going to say you ain't in love, it's just twisted. <laughs> Because as you get older with each other and mature, you will find out that the very thing that you thought was what, what was love and all about, and, and, and you know, you get older and you find out that wasn't love after all. Amen. You'll get to know and love the person and not what they can do for you, not how they make you feel, but you will begin just to love the person, the person of Sherry, the person of who she is, not what she can do for me physically, not what she can do for me financially, but the person Sherry. Amen. See, because the real who you are is not what you do for a person. It's who you are, what you have to offer. Who you are. If you could not work no more, if you could not do what married people do anymore, what would you do? Come on now. Would you still be with the person that you say you love? Right. Abide in me and I'll abide in you. You can ask whatever you will. God's going to come through for you. God's going to come through for us. But we cannot have distorted views on nothing. Amen. We got to be, and listen, don't get it twisted, saints. God didn't bring us here tonight to just hear this and walk out these doors and not live on what you just heard today because you need to carry this with you every day. Amen. Thank you, God. Stay with God. Yes, yes. God wants us to produce much fruit. Yes, he does. That's why Mother Fuentes, we just got to don't worry about who ain't coming right now and what ain't going down. You know, as God is elevating me, taking me higher, even in a recession, even in a recession, I'm going higher. Do you hear what I'm saying? Even when things look like they're being cut back, God taking pastor on to the next level. See, God specializes in reverse stuff. When we think people ain't working, bro, bro Al, when we think things aren't going, bro, Tom, when we think things aren't going the way we want them to go, don't you dare kick against God. Don't you dare get mad about where you at. Amen. Fussing with God. What you fussing with God for? So you better sit down and chill. Amen. Before he really strike you down. Amen. Amen. God wants us to have a whole lot. He said, I want you to produce much fruit. You know what? Whatever you have, you ought to look good in it. You ought to be well. If you're taking medicine, amen, don't have to settle for the generic brand. Amen. Get the real stuff. Yes, yes. But the generic cheaper. Uh-huh. Maybe so. But God that provided for me to have the best of the land. Amen. Well, they say it's just like the original. Well, how about giving me the original? Amen. <laughs> amen. Why well, I got, y'all ain't saying nothing. Why well, we got to settle for just like? Now. When we a child, ain't no raw family settling for just like. Come on, Pastor. Why would you? You can have the best of everything. Why would you want something less than, oh God, oh, this is so sweet right here to me. Why would you settle for less than what he wants you to have? Amen. Amen. Amen, Pastor. You got a car lot? Man, take you over here to the used section. He said, come on over here. That's an insult right there. That's an insult right there. What you taking me over here to the U car lot for? 
Now, don't y'all get upset. You may have to go there for a little minute, a little season. But after you don't walk with God a while and paid your dues, amen. Listen here. Ain't taking me over there to the used section. What do I look like? Huh? I don't pay some. I don't put my time in. Praise the Lord. Take me over here to the new car lot anyway. Hallelujah. You can pull in Ford or you can pull in the Lexus lot. Which one you want? All right. Amen. You can pull in the BMW lot. You can pull in the Pontiac lot. Which yeah. lot you want to pull in? Yeah. Why? Because he said, I supposed to have the abide in me, my word abide in you. You can ask whatever you, you want. You will. Amen. Ain't Amen. nobody got to get happy about that. But what I'm telling you today, as we're coming in to close, don't you dare compromise yourself, lower your standard, settle for something less than what Christ died so that we could have. Amen. 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 One of the things that Christ wants us all to be is joyful. No matter what we're dealing with, Amen. you'll be coming out of your situations after a while. I wish I just had a few more people die to themselves and just fall into Amen. the word and just get wrapped up between these pages. And all they say, you're a walking Bible. That's what people say. Amen. That's all you're a little walking Bible. No, I ain't. Amen. I have to make myself do what's right just like the rest of y'all. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do y'all think, think I got some special anointing on me telling me not to commit adultery? Huh? Not to try to cut some corners. Come on, Pastor. Y'all think I got something special y'all don't got? That devil is a lie. All right. I ain't got nothing no more special than y'all. But like Paul himself said, Paul said it like this, y'all. Every believer need to hear me, and if you're not a believer, still listen. Paul said, I have to beat my flesh into it to, to subjection. Every day. I have to make myself do what's right. Amen. Because my flesh want to do what's wrong. Y'all don't have to hear what I'm saying. Flesh is nasty. Flesh want to do what flesh want to do. But you have to beat yourself into subjection. You have to make yourself act right. Make yourself do right. And especially when people troubling you. Don't you dare run from trouble. Amen. You are eagle. Eagles don't fly away from storms. Eagles fly into the storm. Amen. You do you hear what I'm saying? Whenever the storm is coming or brewing. And eagles ain't trying to run away from the storm. Eagles start heading right to wherever the storm is at. Because they know that once they get to wherever the most intensified portion of the storm is they be flying kind of like this here but when they get the weather where it's really rough amen yes, eagle yes. wingspan about 9 10 feet long yes, amen yes, eagle just go yes, ahead on and throw yes, his he don't yes. even flap no more amen he just lift out his wings amen yes. and the wind from the oh god and the wind from the storm amen lifts up the eagle amen and now he's flying oh brother brother you feel it brother now we fly you flying around amen and all of that stuff you see him being tore up underneath you but you your wing, you ain't even working hard no more. The wind just keeping you up, and you're looking at everybody else stuff getting caught up, but you flying above the problem. Come on now, amen, amen. Tell your neighbor, say I'm an eagle. I'm an eagle. Thank you, God. That's what I am. I don't run from trouble. Thank you, God. And I don't start trouble either. Amen. Me and Sister Hall and them went to visit the church last night, and the boy cussed me and my wife out. Yes, he did outside the church. I told oh, no, he was crazy. <laughs> that dude, he know, but he know, he know, he better be glad I was in the law. Brother Newton, he done come all up to the car and lean in my window almost as long. He done got a, stuck his head almost in my window. And the lady say, sir, you need not to talk to this man like this. He a pastor. Brother, I don't give a bleep, that bleep, that bleep, bleep, bleep. I don't care who he is. They all going to hell, all three of them. Talking about me, my wife, and Deacon Moe. Oh, God. But you know what I did? That was trouble. You know what I did? I just put my wings out. I just throw my wings out, amen. Yeah, and I looked yeah. over there at Deacon Mo. He was trying to open the door. I had good thing I had the child lock on his door. Because he was about to break my hammer. Uh, let me what? Let me let me get out of here. I said, why don't you let door lock? Leave, leave, leave him alone. I said, leave him alone. I said, leave him alone. And then I didn't stop right there. I said, cause he's crazy. Don't hurt yourself over crazy people. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of things we're getting bent all out of shape, and you know people crazy. Yep. Now, when you react just like they are, you just as crazy as they are. Yes, yes, amen. Uh-uh, I just sat there, and the lady who was part of the church saw me. She said, Bishop Hall didn't even say nothing. 
he didn't open his mouth. He didn't say nothing. Because I'm looking at him. He don't lean. I say, do you know? He don't know. Especially you start talking about that right over there. See, I suppose that'll open that door real quick because his hand was right there by that metal part of the door. I'd have opened that door room. He'd have been in the room. Now, now, who you talking about? No. But you got to let a fool be a fool. Hallelujah. But Deacon Mo wasn't going to let him be a fool if that child resistant locked door was closed. He let me get out of here. And then Deacon Allen's getting like, well, what, what, what went on? Because <laughs> he said, I promise you, Pastor, I couldn't have been over there. <laughs> but some things ain't worth, let not your heart, oh, there it go, there it go. Let not your heart be troubled. And I didn't, sister Lord. I just, golly. He cussed me out told, and told us cussed us more than one time. He had a cussing hissy fit. Come on. The lady said, he wasn't our member, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know that brother. That, <laughs> that brother that cussed you out, he was not a member of this church. He told her to hush, she gave $10,000 to the church. She said, not Oh, we had a good time. Saints, listen, my time is fleeting away. Let not our hearts be troubled. Go on, walk in your blessing. Don't let people see. I could have I could have easily now, years and years ago, I might not have took that as well. But now I'm in a place where God now that I've matured. I understand. What would it look like for a joker who finna become a bishop to bust this man in his mouth? I, what would now do you know? You want to know what have been making the, the news and what have been traveling all over the place? And the police would have came. He wouldn't have got the joker who I hit. That'd have showed the picture and took me off in handcuffs. But we didn't let that bother us. We, we, we let the service go on. We wound up having a good service. After the service, we stopped at the barbecue rib shack. Because we posed to have much fruit. <laughs> we posed to be increasing. <laughs> and I might be increasing in size. <laughs> because he told me I should produce much fruit. <laughs> and we got us some ribs. Amen. And the gentleman was so nice. Amen. See, he gave, he, and I had chicken. See, I, I, I'm eating right. See, I eat, I know my blood pressure. So I had chicken. Her, she had ribs. Hallelujah. They in the refrigerator. They in her refrigerator. Praise the Lord. And then he gave me a big heaping of beans. You know, my wife say the, the gullies, they ate too many beans when they were growing up. So she don't eat beans. <laughs> so I got her beans and my beans and I pulled them all together. She's talking about, why you pulled all them beans together? Because I pulled to have much fruit and I pulled to be increasing. <laughs> and I wrapped my stuff up and put it in the refrigerator too and I'm going to take care of them the nights when I get home. You can believe that. Saints, we love you tonight. I promise you one thing. Those of you who love the Lord, those of you who are looking to grow, you're in the right place, hearing the right word for the right time and season of your life. These words that I speak are not my own, but they are from Christ, and you need this. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for pressing your way. We are on our way, amen, somewhere. Every believer have a right to have fruit in their life and not just fruit. And I love, I don't believe she got to the point where he said, and she said, and that your fruit will remain. Huh? That your fruit will remain. You understand what that means? That whatever it is that you get, you don't got to worry about nobody taking it from you. It's yours. Even when it looked like you might be on the, on the edge. You know what I mean? Christ still going to step in. Anybody believe that tonight? may not look like it's working for you, but it's going to work. Let us stand to our feet tonight. Amen. Hallelujah.